So it's great to be with you again tonight to chat more about uh, hearing God speak in different ways and things that block us. So last time we thought about five ways that God speaks. We yeah. we talked about the fact that God has spoken, God is speaking, and God will always speak through the Bible. We also talked through hearing the fact that actually we can hear God's voice, whether that's audibly or internally. Yeah. We thought about sensing that that just know it in Manoa thing that gut feeling mm -hmm. and we also talked about about dreams that God speaks through dreams and we also then talked about God speaking through pictures yeah and I think we we recognize that actually any time we're wanting to grow in hearing God's voice it, it starts with this recognition that hearing God is about whose you are Mm. And not what you do yeah. and actually I, I never stop getting thinking how significant that is it's about mm. whose you are not what you do you know we can't earn the right to hear God's voice we hear his voice yeah. because mm. actually we're his children mm. but learning to hear his voice I think is often a journey in itself we have to learn to lean in yeah. to how to hear learn to lean in to what stops us hearing and that's what we're going to chat about and I think that obviously we are all very different we're built differently and it's not a surprise that how we hear God speak is going to be different for each of us and I think our personalities often uh, kind of influence how we hear he's made us so uniquely mm -hmm. and i think for some we can create postures and and ways of leaning in that help us here and for some of us for example it, it's quiet moments of contemplation is when they hear god speak others it's mm -hmm. it's absolute noise isn't it mm -hmm. it's worship yeah. um it's walking and there's no one size fits all and i think often in the christian life we've kind of said there are the kind of good christian way of doing things yeah but actually, I think if we lean into the way we're created, we really can make it easier for ourselves to hear God speak. Now, anyone that knows me well knows I don't really, I'm not great at sitting still. I can do it <laughs> if I have to, but I generally can do it. But I love movement. I'm built for things to keep moving. And so actually, for me, hearing God when I'm outside in nature really helps me when I'm walking or running. When I do those things, I have that sense that all's well in the world. It mm. just, it makes me feel at peace. It makes my heart sing. And I think when we do the things that make us feel at peace, that make us our heart sing in essence, it's so much easier to hear God speak because we're yeah. approaching it not from striving from from a place of peace and comfort so what about you Matt what helps you what posture yeah. helps you hear God speak no I think I think you're right just yeah we just kind of put ourselves in the places uh, and we get start to recognize that as we try all kinds of different things really but um I would, yeah. I would echo yours nature um I definitely um it's, it's I, I kind of need this I need a kind of space really is what I would kind of uh, do and, and, and space can be outside we love going walking yeah. beside the seaside side. sometimes we, we me and Joe will, will just say oh, I just need to go and hear the waves and because yeah. that's kind of a, a, an area but I think um uh, or even just sitting in the garden there's a there's a I, I do actually enjoy a, a stillness so that actually my mind can be mm -hmm. still and that's really yeah. when my mind is still um that's when I can kind of hear God a, a lot better and that can be through through the nature but um, also through um, listening to, to worship music, actually. I mean, yeah. I just, when you were speaking, I was remembering um, like the last prayer room. And I, I remember, and this is the first time I've done this. I literally spent about a whole hour in, in the canoe or under the tent, just oh, yeah. listening to <laughs> li listening to a kind of playlist of worship music. And I just came out feeling amazing. I don't really, you know, there's nothing, there was a few things that God said, but it was just soaking in his presence. And that was kind of through, through that. So, have yeah. you asked Joe? Have you asked Joe for a canoe in the in the <laughs> well, spare room? We, we did get our one out, but again, but uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe I will. <laughs> yeah, I can only, I can only hear God sight in my canoe, so that's the way it's going to work. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, yeah, so it's similar to that. So uh, walking is good, but it's more about the space element rather than the the movement element for, for yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. 
Fantastic. Um, yeah, so um, we can talk now really about um, so the things that make our hearts sing. And now we can talk about maybe the things that stop us here in uh, God's voice, really. Yes. So um, and kind of by, you know, by posturing ourselves, we can kind of diminish these voices a little bit more. And I think as we come to um, recognize what those voices are, um, we that's half the battle you know once yeah. you recognize them so um you know there's a there's a few voices so the, the first one and, and sometimes the biggest is the voice of fear you know um, especially at the beginning you know things like saying well what if i get it wrong what if i share something that's wrong what if it's not from god if it's the devil speaking to me you know yeah. um and this could be a huge block um so you know that, that, that and, and understandably so and and you have to kind of push through that a little bit and you have to have a safe space to be able to practice really I think that's that's the key I think sometimes there's also that fear you know what if God says something I don't want to hear <laughs> I think I think I've had many times like that yeah he might say something I don't want to know so I, yeah. I might not listen no definitely there's that kind of yeah. yeah there's there's what makes your heart sing but there's also you know you know it's in your heart and just God's <laughs> brought it out <laughs> it's kind yeah. Of like, yeah that's right um, I'd rather not listen. Definitely. Yeah, what I don't know can't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and of course, uh, the, the other thing as well is, you know, th there's a, a voice of, of unbelief. Um, yeah. You know, especially, you know, this can happen anytime. You know, you might have been to church all your life and you think, well, all that person hears from mm. God. I, you know, I'm not going to hear from God, you know. Um, he, he'll never speak to me. I've been coming to church for years and he's never spoken to me or, you know, um, that, that kind of thing. And that can link quite closely with another voice like the voice of shame really those two can kind yeah. of cross over a little bit you know because it it's very quick to, it's very easy to move from he'll never speak to me because I'm not good enough or I'm not a good enough Christian and that kind of stuff but yeah. as you kind of said earlier that you know we have to kind of tell ourselves we can't earn this you know and he's speaking to us because he wants to speak to us you know because he That's loves right. us it's not about yeah. it's not about us and and by saying it's not about us, that can lift off a lot of a lot of this this rubbish that's hanging around. But yeah. we have to kind of speak that over ourselves, I think, as well as to, to, to counteract these these other voices. Absolutely. Um, yeah. But there's a, and then and then a, a, a kind of other area, other big areas, like kind of the, the voice of rationalism, kind of the voice. I would kind of say the voice of this age, but we kind of move beyond really. Maybe the voice of the mm -hmm. of the past age, the real scientific voice, the voice of reason, mm -hmm. the voice of you know uh, rationality and logical logical thinking. You know, but God isn't always a rational God. You know, He's a God of order and not disorder. But He is. Um, you know, He He speaks through things like burning bushes and pillars <laughs> of fire, and you know, and, and that kind of stuff. So you know, He's. Uh, so so we have to kind of park our kind of rationalism and, and i think kind of miracles come into that as well don't they because they are yeah. supernatural and that's you know he's he's supernatural he's outside of the natural he's outside of the yeah. of that so you know and these and these voices as you said earlier can really kind of be quite loud in our lives and yeah. um so and we have to learn to kind of that's where the posturing helps us because we can reduce those voices as well and as we practice hearing god's voice we get to we get to recognize that one hopefully through the, yeah. the still small voice yeah and um it's um which kind of what, what kind of blocks you when you're not kind of in, in hearing him speak then carrie do you think um i <laughs> i think sometimes it's um that i put my fingers in my ears metaphorically <laughs> yeah. i always feel like um i sense that i almost know a bit because I, I guess sensing is one of my strongest ways of hearing God, that actually I kind of have a sense of what he's going to say. And I might be thinking, <laughs> do you know, I don't know that I want to hear that. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> I think I'll just stay in control of that for a bit longer. Or maybe I'm just feeling a bit petulant to think, no, not listening right now. <laughs> I think that for me is a real problem. And I think sometimes... I think sometimes I think unbelief has been hard if, if you have been in if you know if you've been longing for something or there's been a difficult season yeah. and it doesn't quite pan out as you hope I think sometimes it's easy for unbelief just to start to creep in yeah and and before you know it it, it becomes the paradigm by which you're hearing God speak rather and it just becomes a block that makes it a bit more difficult really yeah. what about you Matt yeah well I, I'd say kind of um 
Yeah, at the beginning, kind of definitely, uh, there's there's an unbelief element. It's kind of you know how can how can he how can he speak to me? You know, it's kind of um, and 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 when I'm not in necessarily a good place, you kind of that can easily slip into the the shame element. You know, I'm not good yeah. enough. But the real kind of flip side of that, which is which is amazing, which as I said is. Um, uh, but when he does speak in, especially in those times, that almost is a is a, a massive amazement and revelation, and and kind of brings me back to God in such a, a, a brilliant way because of the place I'm in, and He still speaks to me through that, and it just reminds me that it's not about me. But um, yeah, there's um, yeah the, the, the kind of that kind of thing, and that, that time when we had practicing um, in in that safe place has, has really helped to kind of practice that, that hearing from God and. Um, yeah, what's, what's like, helped your journey when you're in like a place where it feels like you're not hearing God and there's a block? What's kind of helped you journey through that into a different space? Yeah, there's kind of, um, we I kind of know um, the kind of things I have to do to keep putting them in. And it's like, um, yeah. I have to put things in place such as kind of reading the Bible, listening to worship music, um, just pressing through and letting my feelings catch up afterwards if you know what I mean it's kind of like yeah. um I'm, I'm getting I'm becoming more and more though um needing to speak truth of myself but you know that's mm. and that's always harder in those times anyway because yeah. you don't feel like it and you have to kind of press through that kind of because I don't feel like it and but he, he can he can turn the situation around really quickly like within 20 minutes or it can be a, a bit of a harder slog so yeah just mm. kind of finding things that I have to kind of press into to until until I get back there and I know we will get back there eventually I've, I've found as well just being honest about yeah about the block has been really helpful for me in, in yeah. the past and and having people that kind of will ask me what's yeah. God saying how's it going and when God isn't saying something will kind of ask me have you got your fingers in your ears or whatever it is yeah. that's kind of affecting me but to to really to acknowledge it and to be and to know it's that because when you feel like you can't hear God speak that can then push you into the shame can't it definitely so yeah yeah being able yeah. to have the honest dialogue about the fact actually I'm struggling with this yeah and asking for help Absolutely. I was just going to say, yeah, the com you know, that small community, you know, there's two, two or three people that you're walking yeah. with God with who, yeah. you know, they, 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 they know. And, and you can by saying it, yeah, literally by saying it out loud kind of destroys its power, doesn't it? A lot, a yeah. lot. And, um, and, and yeah, having somebody to pray with you or for you or to invite God when you're not feeling that great place can, can really help shift that. And, um, yeah. you know, the, the honesty in the Psalms really help. You just think actually oh, if the Psalms can, if they can say, well, why don't you do what, this is what I'm feeling yeah. like God, then, you know, we're allowed to do that. We're allowed to tell him what we feel like. And yeah, that really yeah, does get absolutely. it out. And yeah, speaking out loud, you know, it doesn't have to be shouted, but even under your breath, just I definitely learned the, the power of um, yeah, speaking aloud. Yeah. So we'd like to say, really, if you recognise one of these blocks uh, or, or a different one, then please do get in touch. We'd love to kind of journey with you and help you. And, and just to encourage you that you can move past this and you yeah. can grow in hearing God speak, because we, we've seen that happen so many times. And we're grateful for the ways when people have journeyed with us and helped us to, yeah. when there's a block or something stopping us hearing, to move into a place where we can have more clarity around God speaking. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Really appreciate Thank the conversation. Brilliant. Thank you. Bye. Bye.